but it's in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9. Uh, you ever hear these quiz shows, a lot of them on television, and the people don't know the Bible at all? Mm -hmm. They ask them what the woman's name was the other night on Sandra Hughes in the Garden of Eden, and they didn't know. So I think it was Adam, so he turned into a woman. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to say this. Any church that's going along with sin needs to get yeah. right. Amen. I'm not going on with it. I have no apology for what I preach. Amen. I've been preaching 50 years. Five years this past January, and it gets sweeter all the time. Amen. Amen. And people ought to really realize and thank God for how good this church has been to them. I'm just going to be plain. It's straight out plain. You see this little bunch here tonight, you're seeing Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday. Yes. But if you fix your meal down Saturday, you have 780. I think if you come to eat the food, you ought to come to eat the word. Woo! That's right. That's the uh, young people in the church, they don't like this church. I don't think you ought to have no part in what this church does. Amen. 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 Just put it on the table. Wow. Amen. You need to invite them. They don't, they don't like the preaching down here. They don't like this church. Wherever they're going, and we have some of these young ones back here that come to their church, we don't need them down here because so they ain't going to come to Amen. Preacher, I don't like you. Well, Lord, you not getting in line. <laughs> there's a whole lot of folks don't like me. And as Andy said, there's a whole lot that loves me. Yeah. I met a man the other day, Andy, like I heard what you were talking about, and he said, Preacher, and this ain't only the man I'm talking about. This is one in our church that's talking to me. The preacher, you're one in a million. But I believe, Brother Lance, if God calls you to do something, y'all do it. So in the book of Jeremiah, if you got your place, chapter 9, we'd like to read some here. Have you found your place? Amen. Listen to what this says. And I want, I want you, when I read this, uh, first verse, and what it says, I want you, if you'd like to be like this person, I'd like to hear you holler, amen. Come on. I want you to look at it now. Jeremiah said, oh, that my head was water, and mine eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughters of my people. Amen. Amen. Wouldn't you like to be that? Wow. A head of water. And eyes that shed tears. Hey, let me tell you something, folks. I'm going to say it, and, and, and if you don't want to never speak to me again, that's fine, but I'm going to tell you, we sure better get a mark on our mind of prayer. Amen. 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 Now, we're in trouble. Amen. We're in trouble, and uh, our leaders don't care so much about God or nothing else. And I ain't talking about Obama. He ain't the only one. There's a lot of them, Brother Harold, and just don't care. But I care. It hurts me to see these little young ones. Now, like, you know what the brother the preacher was preaching on that, that Catholic church? They went and uh, kept him on and him uh, raping them little boys. They ought to be hung. Amen. I want to tell you something. I don't care who you are, where you come from. You can't take up for a young and there's something wrong with you. Right. And that's why sister the law will take his version in court more than he will ours. But Jeremiah said, I uh, oh that my head were all waters. Amen. I'm thinking this week is this cancer on my face here been a leaking water for two days and I was thinking about the Lord. Let it come out of my eyes a little bit. Amen. Tell them that's where things come from, the heart and the eyes. Amen. But the Bible said, oh, that I, and in the wilderness of 
lodging place of wayfaring men that I might leave my people and go from them for they be all adulterers and assembly of friendless precious men. You know, uh, I was telling uh, and we've got the whole lot of it in all the churches you go to. But I was talking in Lance, and he was out here buying my car with me when I told a man that wanted to come to this church. He said he wanted to know something about adultery. You remember he was buying the car? And I told him, I said, well, I'll, I'll tell you what the Bible says. Amen. I'm just going to tell you what the Bible says. And he said, y'all right. I said, yeah, if you'll stand still long enough. And Lance said, the preacher will, but well, anybody will. And I said, the Bible says if you leave your wife without a God, well, you're adulterous. And if you, she married that, you cause her to commit adultery. You ever read that in the Bible? Yeah. And I said, you're in double jeopardy. Amen. But you know, we're living in a day, brother, that there ain't nothing wrong. Well, preachers, the Lord, forgive me. Well, why do people belly ache when I preach? Wow. Amen. Why do people belly ache? Sister Dan Porter, when they're preaching, because it's the Bible. And then what the Bible always said, blow that, and they shall be called adulterers as long as they live. Oh, I've read the Bible in there. That's in there. If you don't, you don't believe it is, I'll read to you. But the Bible said, oh, that I had in it. Whether it's a lodging place or a wayfaring man. You know what a wayfaring man is? One who wants to say he's a Christian, the one who says he loves the world, and wavers from one another, and they don't know who they want to serve. Wow. Right. Amen. Wow. I told my son-in-law, and I love him to death, Tim Bristol, and you've heard him say here, everybody in here knows I love racing. I do too. That foot race for glory. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Wow. And he's got a place on the back of his head, and he says he has to go through here and fix it. And me and Louis both told him, said, Jim, what if you're out there on the track and somebody hits you in the back, snap that neck, and you'll be dead and gone? Oh, well, I've, I've got a horn that says, can't take care of it. I said, I have to, God. <laughs> Amen. I don't back up for son-in-law, sister-in-law, dad-in-law, whoever else. Amen. Amen. Why? Because God didn't call me to be a pet. Amen. He called me to preach the word of God and tell people, if you live right, you're going to heaven. And if you live wrong, you're going to hell. Amen. Amen. Come on now, that's plain talking to those people. Amen. Amen. And more folks where you go can tell you can't. Amen. 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 Well, Thank glory you, to Jesus. God. And the Bible says, somebody asked the other day, said, that Stephen dead before come down there. Uh, he goes over to the nursing home. I said, yes, sir. And whether you want to believe it or not, I licensed him to preach years ago. Why? Because he told me God warned him to. And the Bible said if a man desires the office of a bishop or a deacon, he deserves a good work, blameless, sober, apt to teach, husband of one wife, and his house in order. If it ain't in order, he ain't just to rule the house of God. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. God, that's good old time preaching. Uh, if you don't stay a while not, it ain't ladies yet. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. And they... Bend their tongues like their mouths lie. But they are not valid for the truth upon the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, says the Lord. You know, Brother Lance, uh, I want to say this. When I pastored a uh, River Valley Baptist Church, and Lance has been up there, he knows what I'm talking about. He Big church to build when I was there. The Lord built it. And we, me and Louise was down at the old Wiz Hickory store when it was down in town a little closer after that. And this group of singers, uh, uh, one that's in front of me, the man and his wife and them, when we was getting groceries, and he had a bottle of wine and, and some beer and all. And I tapped him on the shoulder. I was in plain clothes. He didn't know who it was. You know, Jesus said plain clothes, but he knows who you is. Yeah. 
I tapped him on the shoulder last and I said, you'll not sing at River Valley no more. Amen. He looked around and said, oh God, here's Preacher Michael. I said, yeah, and that slop I don't go along with. Amen. Amen. Brother, let me tell you something. If you go along with it and let it get by with it and let people do as they please, you're a part of their doing and you're going to stand for it. Amen. 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 Ain't that all right? Amen. And they bend their tongues. Oh, Lord. Have you ever seen last in your day of preaching as many warped tongues as they are? Yes, sir. <laughs> Preacher, you, you're getting too deep. Well, I'm going to come. I'm going to get out there in the Atlantic Ocean a while. There's a, one drowned down there. I believe nine drowned, 19 is injured or whatever during all that flood in Texas and the right time for all that flood and everything like that. And you know what you say, preacher? What's the cause of that? God's wrath is upon America. Amen. God's wrath is upon us. Amen. We got, I don't know about you, but did you get some rain up there in board last night? We got a storm. Amen. Just said that got a storm. And what did you do, preacher? I went to bed then and I said, thank God. Amen. Oh, amen. Lord, you said you'd take care of us and you'll send it anyway. I could have watered my tomatoes out of a, one of these things like downstairs to gather some water and my wife's got one to have. And I think it's that honey for my tomatoes when you leave out there. Amen. And God will let them look so yeah. May not make a thing, but some of you have got some, don't you? Maybe you want to quit. Amen. Me and Miss Danforth were waiting on that Lincoln County tomatoes, right? And Mary, you ever eat any of them? Lincoln County tomatoes? Boy, oh, they're good, ain't you, Brandy? Amen. Now listen, we got a good church here. We got some good folks here. And this, this little crowd, it don't kill me because anymore, because then the last day we wouldn't be but a few enter into the kingdom of God. I believe you few is the meaning of this with God. But we need to stick together, we need to pray. Praise the Lord, it's not here, amen. amen. And, and when all these, uh, this one that I'm talking about, the man let us talk about, he's talking about adultery. He comes to me one Sunday and I preached on that, where if you look on a woman lust after you already committed adultery in your heart, he comes to me and said, I appreciate a man who preach the truth. Now it's about turning the part. Well, amen. If the word turns you apart when you come to a realization that he's still God, you get together, you'll have a real thing. I seen Reese back there come from one of our uh, missionaries, and he said in there just one girl was shouting and got saved. He said she finally got the real thing today. Amen. Woo! Amen. You might see me smile when I read that. You know what the real thing is? Love the Lord thy God with all your strength and mind. Amen. Just go all all wild. Amen. 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 God took care of me. Uh, yesterday, I started to fall, and I was going to fall into this That's thing and turn my face up, and so happened to be, I was sitting on one of my ladders, and I caught a hole up and didn't fall. I said, thank you, Lord. Amen. Hey, listen, exactly. I'm old. I'm getting grizzly. My hips give away. My back gives away. My legs give away. You see, a while ago, and had somebody prayed, just got pretty solid now. Hey, one thing thank about you. my soul will never give away. He's got that old time heart felt God sent him for salvation. Amen. Amen. Makes you want to love one another. Amen. Amen. I couldn't hardly want to get over here tonight to get to see you folks. Bless him, Lord. Verse 4, take ye heed every one of his neighbors, and trust ye not in my brother, for every brother will utterly supplant, supplant. And every neighbor will walk with pleasure. Is that right? You know what I tell people that's lost and they say, Preachers, who called you to preach? I said, God. Mm -hmm. How do you know? I said, because I ain't what I used to be. Right. Come on. Amen. You know, I think it's coming over and how many years it's come. I praise the Lord when me just a minute, would you? I was coming over the road such a day before, and I said, Lord, never said it before the wind could hear it, I was just talking to God. I said, I want to thank you for touching Eddie's heart and for the greatness in his heart that he's supplied 
to come every service to worship God. Amen. 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 We're not going to live that for you, brother. That's why it's all about all you folks. And uh, Brother Danford can't hardly see good. I believe he said after night that it rained and all. I can't either. But we still, for somehow, Brandon tried to get you. Amen. So we're here tonight. Why don't we just raise both hands right now and say, Lord, I love you with all my heart. Come on, pray. Amen. Lord, I stop that. So that's going to make anybody shout. And they will deceive everyone, his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. You know what? Eddie said it out there a while ago we were talking about. And I've mentioned several times, our word is the bond. We promise somebody something. We promise God. We promise God to love Him with all our hearts, all mind, strength, and our neighbors, our friends. And we promise Him to follow Him to the end of the road. And Him ain't come yet. And um, I, I was thinking about that test you want to run home and talk about blood here, blood John. I don't want to check that because cats work, cancer, that and all. And they ain't never been bothered with me. And I told my wife, I said, honey, I ain't worried about it. I, I'm ready to go. And she said, just go my <laughs> 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 I know, poor, poor little funny, don't want to do it without me, and I don't want to do it without her. We, with this office, we'll be married 56 years. I ain't just heard of it. So stand up, stand with me for 56 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad God's on our side. Just stand for how long you have been married? Oh, Lord, you beat me. 